Welcome to a lesson on describing functions. Some calculus textbooks talk about the rule of four, that every function can be described in four ways. Algebraically is a formula, numerically is a table, graphically or in words. In discrete math, we can still use any of these to describe functions, but we can also be more specific since we are primarily concerned with functions that have the set of natural numbers or a finite subset of the set of natural numbers as their domain. Let's look at several ways to describe the same function. First, we have the function f that maps the set containing the elements of one, two, and three to the set containing the elements of one, two, and three such that, such that the function is the set of ordered pairs one comma two, two comma one, and three comma three, which indicates the function rule is one maps to two, two maps to one, and three maps to three. We can express the same function as three points on the coordinate plane where we have the point one comma two, two comma one, and the point three comma three. However, it is important to not connect the points. Next, we have an arrow diagram that shows one maps to two, two maps to one, and three maps to three. As an algebraic formula, we have a piecewise defined function where f of x equals x plus one if x equals one, f of x equals x minus one if x equals two, and f of x equals x if x equals three. Notice if the input or x is one, the output is one plus one or two. If the input or x is two, the output is two minus one or one. And when the input or x is three, the output is three. And we can also describe the function using two line notation as a horizontal table or has f equal to a matrix. Notice as a horizontal table, we have the elements in the domain in the first row and the corresponding elements from the codomain where each column represents an ordered pair. Similarly, on the right, we have f equals a matrix, where again, we have the elements in the domain in the first row and the corresponding elements from the codomain in the second row. Notice each column represents an ordered pair of the function. And now let's look at the example below, where we're asked which of the following diagrams represent a function, let x equal the set with elements one, two, three, and four, and y equal the set with elements a, b, c, and d. Notice each of the rules map x to y, where if it's a function, x is the domain and y is the codomain. So you may want to pause the video here and analyze the relations or rules to determine which are functions. Again, remember, if a relation or rule is a function, every input must have exactly one output. Analyzing the rules, notice f is a function. Every element of the domain or every input does have exactly one output from the codomain. And notice g is also a function because every input does have exactly one output. There is no problem with an element of the codomain not being an image of an input. Notice c is an element of the codomain, but it is not an image of an input, but this does not mean it's not a function. There's also no problem with a from the codomain being an image of both two and three from the domain. So again, notice how the input of two has an output of a, and the input of three also has an output of a, and that's not a problem because again, every input does have exactly one output. And it can be helpful to write these function rules using two line notation. Notice for function f, we have the elements of one, two, and three, and four in the first row of the matrix. And in the second row of the matrix, we have the corresponding outputs from the codomain where one maps to d, two maps to a, three maps to c, and four maps to b. For function g, the first row is the same, but now one maps to d, two maps to a, three maps to a, and four maps to b. And now let's consider h. Taking a close look at h, h is not a function, and it fails for two reasons. First, the element of one from the domain has not been mapped to any element from the codomain, and second, the element of two in the domain has been mapped to more than one element of the codomain. In this case, the input of two is mapped to two outputs, the outputs of A and C. Note that either one of these is enough to make a rule or relation not a function. So in general, neither of the following mappings are, so in general, neither of the following mappings are functions. On the left, we have an element in the domain that is not mapped to an element in the codomain which makes it not a function. And on the right, we have an element in the domain or an input that has two outputs or is mapped to two elements in the codomain, 
which again makes the rule not a function. And then finally, it might be helpful to think about how we would write the two-line notation for h, which would look something like we have below, where there's nothing under a one because it's not mapped to an element in the codomain, or it doesn't have an output, which is bad. And we also had to put more than one thing under two, meaning two elements from the codomain under two, which is also bad. With a rule that is actually a function, the two-line notation always works out very nicely. And if it doesn't, it's not a function. I hope you found this helpful.